I'm going to plug the adapter and check some voltages, especially 3 volt, 5 volt. Here we have the BIOS, check also 3.3 3 volt for the BIOS, check CPU circuit. Let's take some voltages right now. Okay, let's connect the adapter. Nice. Here, guys, pay attention to the fan here. So let me grab my multimeter. Then select 20 volts. Okay, let's select 20 volt, guys, like this. Okay, let's check it out. <coughs> Okay, guys, let's check some voltages in this motherboard. Okay, do you see the fan spin, but no display, no display, guys. So, guys, let's do it. Let's pass it directly to the BIOS. I like always check the BIOS. Why? Because without the BIOS, nothing will happen. So, this is the pin number one. So, guys, we have, as you can see, 3.3. Good, 3.3 is here. Okay, nice. So let's check the CPU circuit. Here basically we have three channels for CPU circuit. 1.1, nice. 1.1, 1.1, amazing. So the voltage is good. This is the VCC core, nice, my friends. This one, 1.1, okay. 1.1 this is for the north bridge nice the north bridge here and the graphics nicely done so let's check these two inductors here of 3.3 volt this one 1.5 volt this is for the ram nice this is for the ram do you see guys i have ddr3 1.5 volt this is for the ram okay let's check this one here basically this is for the battery i have to find nothing here so here we have 3.3 volts what about 5 volts when is 5 volts okay 3.3 volts is here this one this is for the ram nice we need another inductor so here let's check here 19 volt in the side okay let's check this mosfet 19 volt in this side we have okay we need 5 volt my friends 1.05 this is vccp basically vccp nice this one here 0 0.9 okay okay i should look to the other side I should look to the other side, my friends. <clears throat> so, guys, please pay attention. The most voltages that you have to check in the motherboard is the first, basically, guys, or always go to the BIOS and check what? Check the pin number 8. You have to find 3.3 3 3 volts. Then, my friends, the RAM, so here, always locate the coil next to the RAM. This one here, we have 1.5 volt. Means what? Means this is the DDR3. Here we have 1.5 volt, as you can see. And over here, here of course we have 1.5 volt DDR3. Okay. Here we have 3.3 volts. Okay. Here we have basically this is the CPU. By the VCC core 1.1 volt, 1.1 volt, 1.1 volt. Three channels. For the North Bridge, we have 1.03. For the graphic card, 1.01. Nicely done, my friends. Amazing. So the voltages are good in this motherboard. So this motherboard should work.